שלום, ברק דה יהאווה, בעל שם יהאו שי, בעל שם קרקדש, או פרייזות גורס דפלרלי דו, אספשלי אל הטיימס אנחנו חיים בהם. מאט רספקט לדעת אפוסטלס ואנדרס גרייט מוסטון, ולכל הברוזרים שם 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 Uh, watch out, be the stability of thy times. All right, so, but before we do, I want to cover uh, what's in the news. Uh, first, let me say this. Uh, some brothers did a couple of videos. Elder Yasha Wamba uh, out in Dallas. Um, GMS, Vegas sit-downs, as well as uh, Elder Apostle Gabar. You know, and a brother who left a comment. Is it just GMS that has the 100% truth? And, you know, they all give the same answer, and it's correct. You know, the answer is no. Okay, it's not just GMS. All right? They were all other camps, other individuals. They were individuals, the elders, you know, when, uh, you know, the one Westers started by, uh, up by uh, Abba Bivens, okay, uh, the men under him. Uh, King Marsha, Prince Harry, uh, what is it, uh, King Marsha, uh, High Priest Arya, all right, I think even uh, Yaikwab, um, again, they weren't a part of GMS, and that's an example that Elder Apostle uh, Gabar used, all right, and just like he used that, it's the same thing. The Israelites were scattered into all nations, okay? That's presumably based on James 1 and 1. The Israelites scattered abroad. So, you know, go do yourself a favor. You know, put in the word scattered. See how many times it comes up in the scriptures, all right? I'm pretty sure you'll find it comes up quite a bit. The same thing you can put in uh, dysphoria or dispersion as well. Okay, and uh, I'm pretty sure you'll have well over 50 precepts you can go to, okay, so that you understand something, you need to understand that this is all in the scriptures, okay, as well as in circular history, all right, that prior to the fall of Jerusalem in 67, 70 A.D., okay, of the southern tribes, you know, there were some northern kingdom that stayed with the southern tribes, you know, after the split. But regardless, not everybody went into West Africa. They went into all nations of the Eastern Hemisphere out there in Europe. Do you understand, people? This is prior to the fall of Jerusalem. Do you understand that? Okay. So then you have to think about it in terms of that way that we were already scattered. Then you had the split. Then you had the fall. And then on top of all that, in 1492, when Columbus came here, and when he came here and he put 1,100 of the tribe of Ephraim, all right, of the northern kingdom, and they're the head of the northern kingdom, number two behind Judah, who's the head tribe, but they put 1,100 onto four Spanish ships to ship back to Seville, Spain, and thus began the Atlantic slave trade. You understand? And out of that 1,100, only 300 survived the trip. Okay? So know your history. So is does GMS have the 100% truth? Yes, they do. Are they the only ones that have it? Absolutely not. And they're the first to admit it. Okay? Now, does that mean every other camp has 100% truth? Absolutely not. You understand? And what do we mean by that? Well, I'm going to give you an example here. All right? What we mean by that. This is Philippians, all right, the first chapter, verse 27. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Yahweh Shai the Machiach, that wherever I come to see you, or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs that ye, right, you Israelites, you disciples, 
of Yahweh Bachin Yahweh Shai, stand fast in one spirit. You see that? In one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. Do you see that? Do you understand being of one spirit and of one mind? That would be those that have the 100% truth. And no, you don't have to be a part of DMS. And I am not a part of DMS. But if you're going to follow someone, I highly recommend that you follow them. Okay? Because they're going to have the 100% truth. Okay? In other words, what you read in the scriptures and, and the same uh, wisdom and knowledge that you receive is the same that they're receiving. There you go. Do you understand? Because you'll find that you have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The Lord is supping with you, but it's not supping with every camp or every individual. You understand that? All right? Okay? So it really has nothing really to do, you know, per se with camps. But I would tell you that, yes, GMS has 100% truth. That's what they teach. Okay? You understand that? They don't go off the doctrine. All right? Uh, what else here? I'll give you a precept to this. Philippians 2 and 2. All right, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded. You see this? You see again? Being of the same mind, be like-minded. Having the same law, being of one accord, see? Being of the same spirit, all right? Of one mind, you see? So the people that have, the individuals, all right? And remember that Israel, again, is scattered through the four corners of the earth. We'll prove that in a moment. All right? The ones that have the 100% truth, they're not all in GMS. They're scattered. You understand that? And what does it say here in uh, Matthews, right? The 24th chapter, right? Which proves it, who the Lord is coming back for. Matthews uh, 24 and 31. All right, and he shall send his angels with the great, with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together. Who is it? The whole world? Is it all nations? No, his elect, the elect of Israel, from the four winds, north, south, east, west. You see? Do you understand? The Israelites are scattered abroad. So those that have the 100% truth, you understand, and they're not a, necessarily a part of GMS, okay, but they are of the elect. So they have the 100% truth. In other words, they have the complete understanding of these scriptures, and that's really the key, okay? It's not about reciting scripture, okay? It's about understanding you know, the dark sayings, the dark parables, the allegories, the prophecies. Do you understand getting into the root and etymology of words so that you have the understanding? All right? All right, that's all I wanted to say about that. So again, he shall gather his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven onto the other. There you go. And that's going to be who? The ones that are of the elect they're going to have, you know, the 100% truth of these scriptures, the complete understanding of it. You understand? They understand why they went into captivity, okay? Why we're, you know, the basis of men. Why the Lord, as it says in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, why he sent our enemies onto us, because we broke the law, statute, and commandment. They had the understanding. Do you understand that? They have the understanding, and they're humble, and they're sincere. They understand that the Lord is going to raise them up, because it's just so here in the scriptures. We have the testimony, okay? 
We have the truth, wisdom, knowledge, and the testimony of the Most High and His Son through the prophets. There you go. We have it. You understand? All right. Let's move on from that. Uh, what else did I want to get into? Oh, yeah. Uh, in the news, also in the news, if you people don't know, Israel has already attacked Iran. Okay, and that's from a couple of days ago, maybe two days ago. I believe that was breaking news two or three days ago. All right, and since then, they have also bombed Lebanon. All right, and you'll find that. Give me a minute. You see right here, people? RT America uploaded Israel shelves Lebanon as country plummets to anarchy. All right, and you guys can go watch that. Right, if you're not subscribed, I suggest you subscribe to RT. All right, and I'm pretty sure you'll find articles on it if you want to go to some articles. All right, uh, what else? Uh, Mayor of New York City, de Blasio. All right, let's uh, get into that. There's an article. All right, give me a minute. All right, here's an article from the New York Times. New York City will require workers and customers, you know, patrons, all right, to show proof, okay, that they've, uh, you know, taken, received, you know, that dragon juice, all right? If not, they will not receive the keys to the city. In other words, they're not going to be allowed into restaurants, movies, etc., etc. You understand? They're not going to be allowed to move around the city. All right. New York City will become the first U.S. city to require proof. You see that? This stuff has never happened. See, in order for people to uh, indoor dining, gyms, performances like movies, you know, Broadway. You understand that, people? All right. So, just wanted to update you on that as well. He has himself said that uh, Governor Cuomo, you know, should be prosecuted, you know, for the uh, sexual harassment allegations. He should be prosecuted. And obviously, even uh, your so-called President Biden has already even asked, you know, for Cuomo to step down as governor and resign. All right, so you can see all these things that are happening, people, and it's all being thrown in your face. All right, and that's because you're at the end of this man's kingdom. All right, as the prophecy reads, okay? You're at the end of this man's kingdom, all right? And you read that in, uh, what is that? Second has your six and nine, right? All right, for Esau is the end of the world. The end of what? That means the end of the age. That's Aeon, 165 in the Bible concordance. That's what the world, world means there. The end of his age, as in his rulership and kingdom. And Jacob, who are the 12 tribes, made up of you Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, plus, of course, we're going to look like those other nations because we were scattered into all nations. So you're going to have Israelites that look like Moabites, Anamites, even like Edomites. Okay, regardless, they're Israelites by the seed of their fathers. You understand? Now, that's going to upset a lot of people, but that is the reality because that's what's in the scriptures. Okay, as well as in circular history. Okay? You got that, people? So Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. There you go. All right? Uh, you know what? We're going to end this here, and we're going to come right back with part two. I just uh, want to finish up a little bit with this, and uh, we're going to get started on our lesson. All right? So we'll, we'll be right back with part two. Shalom.